Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to discuss hand and arm pain. Okay, I want to go into what to do when your arms and hands are painful. Okay, this is a very, very important video. I've already made videos on warm-up exercises and stretching. Stretching is very, very, very important. So go watch that video after this one. Okay, so um, when your hands are painful, First of all, stop playing, okay? You're playing too much. Now, as guitar players, um, our hands are in overuse most of the time, okay? No matter how much you warm up, no matter how well you stretch, um, a guitar player's life is a life with hand and arm pain, and there's nothing we can do against it. Um, we can only diminish the pain and treat it. So um, to maintain healthy hands, first of all, you need to stretch, as I said before, and I will say it again and again. Okay, you need to stretch, and you just you need to stretch right. Okay, because you need to stretch your tendons, you need to warm up your fingers, you need to warm up your um, your joints, you need to warm up the, the shoulders, your back. Okay, so when, for example, when you're in this position for too long, you're holding your hand up in a, in a way that's kind of unnatural, okay? And no matter how loose you are, you're still holding your hand up, okay? Even if it's leaning against the guitar. You're, it's still in a, in a position that's unnatural for the hand. And um, that, that kind of develops pain faster than it, than, than would if, uh, if, if you, for example, would sit uh, um, in front of a computer. Because in front of a computer, your hands should be in this position, which is healthier. Now, um, holding the guitar, even if you hold it like this, even if you hold it as a classical player, your hand is down, but you're still stretching your tendons a little. And then you're holding this hand up and you're moving your wrist around. So there's no way around it. The guitar is kind of an unhealthy instrument for the hands. Now, sometimes you feel the pain in your fingers and that's usually muscle pain, okay? Now, I'm not a doctor. This is just from my own experience, okay? I'm just sharing my own experience, okay? Go to a doctor if you're painful, okay? If you're very, very painful, I'm sharing my experience only. This is not medical advice. This is just my experience. Finger pain usually stems from uh, just overuse of the fingers. But if you have a tingling feeling at the edge of your, at your fingertips, or if you have a loss of sensation, then something is pressing on a nerve. And then it can be one of a few things. Now, we all rush into thinking that this is Carpal tunnel syndrome, it must be carpal tunnel syndrome. When it usually isn't carpal tunnel syndrome that fast, even if you're feeling joint pain, okay? If, if you have trouble, if you want to get yourself up and you lean against something and your, and your wrist is painful, it still doesn't mean that it's carpal tunnel, okay? You need to go to a doctor and check it out. Now, different doctors will, will tell you different things, so you have to decide for yourself. Now, um, orthopedic doctors and chiropractors will, um, will tell you one thing, while osteopaths will tell you a different thing. And I've discovered osteopathy after years of pain, and this is actually my advice in this video. Um, osteopathy wouldn't work if it's carpal tunnel syndrome, of course, but, but most of the time it's not. Most of the time it's it's problem with the fascia. Fascia is um, it's, it's a layer that, that wraps the muscles in your body. Um, somebody explained it, explained it to me as kind of like a Spider-Man suit, a lycra suit around your whole body. And that's, uh, that's the fascia. It's around all your muscles. And when the fascia, uh, when, when the, there's a problem with the fascia from, from overuse, it, get, it hardens. It hardens into what feels like when, when you touch it, it feels like um, a piece of plastic stuck in your hand. 
and it's, it's sometimes it's very difficult to find. For example, if you have thumb pain, then it can come from here, 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 and it can come from here, and it can come from here, from, from your back. And an osteopath will know how to find it. Now, for me at least, most of the time, um, if I have uh, some pain or if I, feel, um, if, if I feel a tingling feeling, then I'm, I start to search because after a few osteopathy treatments, um, I know where and how to search. <clears throat> and then it feels like a piece of plastic stuck in my hand, a piece of plastic. It's usually around the, around the elbow. It's usually somewhere around the elbow and you'll know, you'll know it when you touch it because it's extremely painful. It's extremely painful when you touch it. But the more painful it is when you touch it, the better it will get afterwards. Now, um, again, I'm not a doctor. This is not any sort of medical consulting, but um, osteopathy treatment releases these uh, hardening, hardened parts of the fascia. The cat is moving around here. And, um, and you can't, there's a limit to how much you can hurt yourself. Now, I know how to kind of lessen the pain. For myself, most of the time, I just, I rub against it and, and I massage the part that's hurtful, that's painful. And, it's, and it is painful, but I know, I, I've already learned that the pain means less pain afterwards because I open it up. Because the plastic piece, the, the, the plastic shard that is stuck inside my muscle or around my muscle gets a little more flexible the more I massage it. Okay, And it needs to be very, very uh, precise massage, also precise uh, direction-wise. Okay. And then it might hurt for a day or two, but then the pain goes away, especially if you have a good osteopath who knows what they're doing. Now, another warning, um, oste osteopathy treatments are, are painful. They're really, really painful um, because to open, to completely open uh, fascia hardening, you need to apply a lot of pressure. You need, and, and sometimes they do it with, with the elbow and, and it's really, really painful. And then your hands are painful for, for a couple of days, but, but, but then you're pain-free. At least I'm pain-free for at least three or four months, um, which is a lot because I play the guitar a lot. Um, now, what happens... If it is carpal tunnel syndrome, then osteopathy won't work. You'll have to go to a doctor. You'll have to get um, a, a treatment. So, sometimes it's a shot. Sometimes it's um, steroids. Sometimes it's a shot to the tendons, a shot to the muscles. Now, um, again, you need to learn to recognize the pain. You need to learn to recognize your own pain and to stop playing immediately, immediately when you feel a bit of tension. If you feel pressure on your hand, if you feel your back, if you feel, um, if you feel your trapezoid muscle here tensing up, if you feel um, something in your elbow and especially if you have, if you get a tingling in, in your fingers, in your fingertips, because that means that something is pressing on the tendon or pressing on a nerve. And sometimes if you stop playing the moment it happens and you give yourself a rest and, and you give yourself time and you don't play for a couple of days, it goes away on its own. If you play all the time, if you play a lot, and if you use your hands, uh, if you work with computers, if you work with your hands, then usually it won't go away on its own. But uh, I just wanted to share my own experiences with hand and arm pain. Again, do the stretches, do your warm ups, and visit an osteopath or an orthopedic doctor or a chiropractor, um, but I suggest that you start with an osteopath because sometimes people go to doctors and osteopathy is relatively new and um, 
and doctors don't really like osteopaths most of the time and they claim that it's bull and then you get unnecessary shots and unnecessary medication and it doesn't help and then you go to an osteopath and suddenly uh, you get this really painful treatment and voila you feel like a new person uh, so so give it a try um, it's my recommendation again this is not medical consultation this is my experiences only so thank you very much for watching and I will see you the next video bye for now